Yes, so what's up everyone? Today we're gonna wash my second gen MR2. As you can see, it's dirty. It hasn't been washed in a couple of months since the lockdown here in the Philippines started. It hasn't been out, uh, haven't driven it around, so it's just mostly dust from sitting on the garage, in the garage for a couple months. Yes, so let's start the car and uh, back it up. Yeah, so you can see it has that weird uh, 90s purple thing going on for it. A light layer of dust. I don't know if the register. So there, you can see. Uh, NK RP01 wheels. Uh, staggered sets by 8 up front. By 9 at the rears. Okay. I'm just going to do a basic wash today. Just strip off the dirt and uh, get ready to start the car again. So we're starting with the lower portion of the car. Uh, basic shampoo we have in the Philippines. Wash mitt for the lower portion of the car. Just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna foam it up. We're now gonna hose down the lower portion of the car, the wheels, and the uh, running boards, fender liners. Now we're going to start to soak the wheels. So this is an old wash mitt. Uh, I only use it for the wheels and the undercarriage of the car, underbelly, the sides. So these are just basic tools that probably most households in the Philippines would have when washing their car. I'm not using a two bucket method because this car needs to be corrected anyway. I'm not really concerned about that. And the uh, inside of the fenders. Like I said, this hasn't been out in a couple of months ever since the quarantine lockdowns in the Philippines. So we gotta brush the tires as well after soaking the wheels. Although this shouldn't be too dirty, as this has been sitting in the garage. Oh. 
So now that we're done with the lower portion of the car, I'm gonna throw out the water. Rinse the bucket off. And start with a fresh batch of soapy water. We got ourselves a different wash made as well. This is only for the upper portion of the car. And now it's time to rinse the whole car. If you have a pressure washer at home, obviously it's gonna be easier. If you have a homer at home, foam gun. But if not, you know, things like this will make you. So we're now going to soap the car, at least the upper portion. Uh, some people would usually work, you know, top to bottom, but I prefer to work on the lower parts of the car first. Just because it's a lot more humid here in the Philippines, it gets hotter quickly. So sometimes when you work on the top first part of the car, it dries quickly, it leaves water spots. So this is a non-turbo model actually, this is a GNA. Uh, but it has the fake air duct. This is a copy air This is the real one. Got the car. It already had it. So the soap, the wash mitts, and most of the stuff you'll see today is from Microtex. It's a brand that's readily available in the Philippines. It's over the counter. You know, they make pretty good stuff for the average Joe who wants to clean their cars at home. It's not pricey. So after soaping the car, we're gonna hoof it all down. So after rinsing the car, we're gonna dry it off with a waffle weave towel, I believe it's called. It's also from Microtex. Again, it's readily available in the Philippines. Um, so this is a towel that's solely dedicated for drying your cars. I'm not really applying, I'm not really applying a lot of pressure. I don't know if you can see but there's a lot of uh, little scratches across the bodywork. Needs to be corrected. Uh, Obviously, if you live with a few dogs in your house, it's bound to happen. So the car is mostly dry right now. We're gonna pull it in the garage, apply a fresh coat of bead maker. And dress the tires and uh, clean the wheels, uh, clean the windows as well.
now that the car is dry, we're gonna top it off with a bead maker. This is actually bead maker, not nano slick. Bead maker is from PNS. Uh, usually, you want to start off with a carnauba wax, and then layer it off or top it off with bead maker. But since we don't have time and uh, the sun's already up, we're just gonna go straight to the bead maker, which is like a synthetic sealant, I guess. Clean microfiber towel. Just gonna prep it. Very, very perfectly to the paint. Spread it out. One side. Ah, the hood first. Now we're gonna buff it off with the other side. So now that we now that we've applied bead maker on the paint, we're gonna apply um, glass cleaner. Yeah, direct to the glass with a clean microfiber towel also. Wipe it off with one side. Buff it off with a dry side. Don't forget the inside as well. So there we finished washing the MR2. Used a lot of Microtex products. Yeah, actually all of them are Microtex except for the bead maker. Loud as exhaust. Yeah. So the MR2 is ready to be stored again. Hopefully you subscribe as I plan on making more MR2 content in the future. Thanks for watching.